Welcome back to the channel Trading Simplified. I'm a trading enthusiast and love to simplify trading. To get started, just a reminder that I'm not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment so welcome purposes Welcome back only. to the channel. We're going to talk about ETF FDRV. This is a new ETF that just came out, I believe in October. So now I'm just bringing it up because this is something that I'm investing in the long term. So this is a long term outlook and I truly believe that this would be a good one to hold. So Fidelity just created this ETF that's about electric vehicles and basically future transport. So anything that's electric vehicles is what's going to be involved in this ETF. And I'm going to break it down for you and then look at the chart. But first I want to go over the basics. So it opened at $25 and it's already up to $29 a share, up almost 30 now, what's important about it is it has an expense ratio of 0.39, which is a little bit more expensive than I'm willing to pay. When I'm paying like the S&P 500 or something, I look for like under 0.1. But because it's an electric vehicle, I know it's going to be more volatile. But I'm going to hold this long term and just accept that that is the expense ratio for now. And I trust Fidelity. And I like that I've been looking for an ETF that only holds like electric vehicles. And we finally have it here. And this is brand new. So this just came out. So I like the starting price at $29 and I'm gonna start building a position in them. So I want to bring them up because on the chart here, which we'll go over or we'll break it down on Weeble, but it's passively managed and I wanna get into what it actually holds. So top 10 holdings of this, this fund, FDRV, is gonna be Tesla at 6.41%, NVIDIA 4.83, which is your chips, Uber, and then NIO, which is the Chinese electric vehicle company, and then you have Intel, Qualcomm, and then whatever this is, Chem, I don't know what that is. But this 10 top 10 holdings is 40% of your portfolio. And then if you want to see like what are the rest of the holdings, I'm just going to hit more and see if it brings it up. Now let's see here. Oh, here we go. So this is good. So basically, it's just showing you that this electric vehicle fund is spread out all through 56% in the United States. China, 13% exposure, and then South Korea and, and what you can see on the video. And it's got a good market capitalization, so meaning like large, mid, and small, so it's very diverse. And it, it the industry exposure is all through semiconductors, so all the chips. So instead of just trying to buy like one company or one electric vehicle and hoping it goes up or have to pay like a fee like Tesla where it's like $1,200 a share, you could just buy this fund and it just tracks all of them. So it has automobiles, it has the semiconductors and the chips metals and mining and puts them all together in one so i like this nice and simple makes it nice and easy to read you can see the percentages that it is with tesla nvidia uber neo and all that so this is a company that company this is an etf that i believe that is going to be a good one long term that i'm going to hold on to now you need to be aware of the distribution expenses so you are paying 0.39 percent which is pretty like a good amount you know but I'm going to take the chance because electric vehicles is brand new. It seems like it's really just taking over now and everybody loves electric vehicles. And I just think that over the long term, I think this stock price is going to be much higher because I believe that EV is just going to take over from like traditional cars. Um, now, I don't see anything about dividends or anything, so I don't believe we even get a dividend. We're going straight with growth. So we just need the straight price to go up. So we're not going to get anything for holding this company. We're going to pay this every single year. And that's it. And I'm okay with that. So that's something you have to ask yourself if you're okay with. Um, I want to bring up the chart real quick on Weeble. And, you know, it came out. Let's just bring it up like over the last three months. Let's see where it was. So this is where they opened up and they were at the 25.50. And I just didn't know about them. Otherwise, I would have bought them around this price. But I'm going to pay the premium. You can even see that the RSI is high if you're day trading this. It's at a 73, which means overbought. But, you know, it just came out. Fidelity offered it and they have a huge base so people are buying it for a long term. So for me, I'm just going to start with a you know $5,000 position. I'm going to buy, I don't know what it is, I guess like 100 and something shares or something, probably 200 shares. And I'm going to just start building the position and if it sells off, I'm going to keep adding to it and I'm going to hold this long term. So I just wanted to bring this, this up and I, there's not much information on it because even if I bring up the one year, it hasn't been out that long. I mean, the max it's been out is October 10th, October 11th. And because Tesla is 6% of the portfolio and it just went up like, you know, from 800 to 1200, obviously you're going to pay a little bit more because 6% of the portfolio is in FDRV. So I, I don't mind buying at these prices, even though it's $30 and it's already went up five points because I know I'm going to dollar cost average when it, if it sells off and I'm okay with that because I'm going to be holding this for the next 20 years. So it's just something that I want to start a position in, have a nice $5,000 position in it. 
and then just slowly build in it over the years and just go from there. So this is an ETF I want to bring up. I just think it's something that's worth mentioning. And for people who don't want to trade individual stocks and think, you know, if the company goes out of business, I lose my money. I don't have to worry about it with this because as you can see with this fund, it had over 60 companies in it. And it's got like big guys in it, like NVIDIA and Tesla that are here to stay for the long term. So I think this is a easy buy. I wouldn't even try to time this. I'm just going to put money into it and just buy whatever the price is and just hold on to it. And I think it's really cool that Fidelity has finally offered something that we can buy that involves semiconductors and electric vehicles. And you can see all the percentages here that it's showing. And it's got large, mid-cap, small-cap, micro-cap, which just means like you know the size of the businesses, how much money they produce each year, what they're worth, and what that is. And you have all the regional exposure with the country. So this is something I'm very excited about, and I just wanted to bring, a, bring upon for any of my long-term investors. I think this is a great buy. And I'm going to be buying and holding them for 20 years, so we'll see what happens. But I'm going to start my position tomorrow on them, and I'm going to buy them right at the open. And uh, just keep buying them as uh, I make some more day trading gains. Just keep adding to them. So this is what I want to show you. FDRV.